Doctors medical examiners morticians of Reddit. What is the weirdest anomaly you've ever found on in a body? I worked in medicine as an x-ray tech medical assistant. One day we had a patient come in complaining of a stomach ache. Considering the time of the year it wasn't an abnormal complaint to have come in our family practice. So we run him through the normal test urinalysis and an abdominal x-ray. Cub for those medically inclined. Well, he was a shorter fella so I had a lot of room on the film. This kind of x-ray is one large shot centered on your belly button. It's mostly used to see how full of crap you are. I went to the dark room to process his film when something weird could be seen near his butt. There was definitely a lot of poop backed up but I couldn't tell what was causing the blockage. I showed the doc the film and she busted out laughing. The doctor I worked with was usually stone faced and serious about these kinds of things. So it was odd. We were all confused. She asked me to go into the room with her while she asked him some questions. The first thing she asked him was what he shoved up his butt. I was so taken aback by this statement I almost missed what he said. You see, this 40 year old man has diarrhea the week before and decided to shove a tampon up his butt to stop it. He tried to take it out but the string got caught, and then he simply forgot about it. We had to remove it. It was disgusting, and I never did another procedure ever again. In my anatomy lab, my group's cadaver had died from systemic complications of stage 4 lung cancer and when we got to the lungs they were too rock hard, necrotic blackened masses that look nothing like the other cadaver's pink and spongy lungs. My anatomy prof took one lung out and wrung it resulting in this putrid black goo flowing out of the lung. As he was draining the lung, he mentioned in an Indian accent, this, this is what happens when you smoke. Heard a story from a urologist when I was in medical school about a guy who came in for a vasectomy. During the procedure, the urologist has trouble finding the vas deferens, so he orders a few tests, turns out the guy has bilateral congenital absence of the vas deferens, CAVD, but the guy had 3 kids. And Lucy had some splaining to do. She isn't dead, but this week I saw a patient with endometriosis in her lungs. Somehow, wound lining cells had traveled to her thorax and colonized on the lung. She previously had symptoms of coughing up blood while menstruating, but because the endometriosis was so severe, was on the pill to stop her periods entirely. Then she came off it to have a baby, and after the birth, with her hormones all over the place, she developed two pulmonary embolisms, blood clots in the lung, and a few weeks after that, three successive pneumothorax, collapsed lung. The womb cells had tried to shed, and made a hole between the airways and the sac surrounding the lung, letting air escape. She's deciding now whether to let the surgeons cut out the part of her lung with the endometrial cells, to go back on the pill for life, or to have a full hysterectomy and remove her ovaries. Tough choice at 32. That's like something out of an episode of House. Wild. I was a combat medic in the army, not super super uncommon. About 1 in 10,000 people have it, but I had a buddy with Citizen Versus. All of his major internal organs were reversed. Heart on the right side instead of the left. For example, as soon as he got to the unit, it was the first thing he told me. Wanted to make sure if he got hurt I wasn't curious as to why he had no heart, I guess. Had to look up the name and how uncommon it is, because it's been a few years since I got out and he's literally the only person I've ever met like that. I was honestly surprised at how common it actually is. I figured it'd be more rare. One of the cadavers in the anatomy lab my first year of med school had previously undiagnosed citizen versus. Super interesting but not a great way to learn standard anatomy. Three golf balls in a man's stomach. His cause of death was lung cancer. Still trying to figure out how he ate golf balls how long they were in there considering he was on life support for two weeks before he died. Apparently there's a new type of golf ball that rolls into the hole if you get it within 4 inches of the hole. He probably just tried to keep them in his back pocket. During an autopsy, we found a plastic shamrock that was about 3-4 inches big in some guy's stomach. Another guy had the biggest piece of steak in his throat. Cause of death was obviously choking. Pretty memorable to me. I'm a doctor was working in OT, anesthesiology, an emergency came in the afternoon. Apparently the patient is a fisherman and got into a fight with his fisherman friend. Patient was impaled by a spear gun, 
The spear entered just lateral to his belly button and came out just above his right hip. He actually held this six featuring long spear going through his body and walked into the emergency room by himself. When it was time to put him under he wasn't scared anxious. He said just fix me up so I can go find that guy. Friend. I don't think that word means what you think it means lol. I was a nurse for the year and a dude came in with a big vibrating corn cob stuck in his butt and it was still on and we had to wait for the batteries to die before we could even do anything. There were two big DD sized batteries. He was there for like 3 hours laying on a table but vibrating. Not a pathologist but I work in a coroner's office. On more than one occasion we have directed a post mortem on someone who has died abroad, often due to heart related issues. I once got a phone call from the pathologist after he had opened the body to examine the heart. This person died from a heart attack. Yes, apparently so. You want me to examine the heart? Yes please. Comma where is it? Some other countries routinely remove organs when they are determining a cause of death. Then the body is embalmed and sent back to their home country. We still often have to confirm the cause of death. So I've spent a lot of my time chasing missing organs around the world. That job sounds like a great premise for a TV drama. Worked in a funeral home. Had a friend at the medical examiner's office. A father was thought to have died of a heart attack and he came to our funeral home. Next morning, the pathologist comes in and looks at the notes. Calls us in a panic. We rush the body to the medical examiner's office. A few weeks later, I ask my friend what happened. The guy was actually murdered and was shot. I thought this was gonna end with the guy still being alive. Had a kid. Anus and perforate. Not that uncommon. Basically, his intestines ended in a blind pouch. What was odd though, is that his genitals were rotated. When you took off his diaper, the scrotum sat on top. The dong was under it, pointing back. A fair number of cloverleaf head kids. An omphalosal that contained all of the large intestine, the liver, part of the small, and part of the lung. I am Ped's nurse. I didn't know a person could be born with rotated genitals. That's really interesting. I work as a statistician in a major hospital so I see and catalog a lot of weird things. Worst thing I'd seen was someone come in complaining of leg pain and showing signs of septic shock. After examination doctor orders scans and there's two metal rods, one in each leg, that weren't on their file. Turns out the patient has been to SC Asia to get a height altering surgery and the doctor had used items you'd pick up from the local hardware store to fix the bones after breaking. After extensive surgery patient lost the lower part of one leg and was lucky to keep the second. I saw a patient with endometriosis, lining of inner uterus cells, in her nose, meaning that she would get epistaxis, bleeding from nose, every month or so related to her menstrual periods. I was a mortician for a religious organization, and I have to say that the butt plug conundrum of 2013 was among the more difficult issues I've faced in the field. A dissident arrived in my morgue with a bejeweled butt plug firmly in place within the rectum. Which led to a very interesting issue if the family had known that the deceased was likely to have had such an item. We'd be screwed if we didn't list it amongst personal effects to be returned to the family. But if they were as vanilla as most of the relevant religious community claimed to be such an item would probably be considered a slanderous perversion. Fortunately, my boss was a member of the relevant clergy. So I simply removed the item and popped it into a biohazard bag for him to decide upon. I actually don't know what decision was reached. And alas, that boss has since shuffled off the mortal coil himself. Not me, but my boyfriend's mom is a doctor for people with special needs. One of her patients, an older man with Down syndrome, among other diagnoses, appeared to have extreme abdominal pains that lasted for weeks. They did several tests and tried some medication but the pain wouldn't stop. He also suffered from constipation and stopped eating altogether at some point. The source of his trouble remained a mystery for almost two weeks and the doctors were starting to get desperate. Then suddenly one afternoon my boyfriend's mom got a call from her clinic. 
she's the head of the department so they let her know when something important happens while she's not on duty. That this man had finally been able to go to the toilet and among some still was a blow latex glove. Over the following days he passed about 20 of these in total and he felt better and better and luckily started eating again. Most likely he had somehow been able to steal the gloves from the cleaning lady's cart and ate them without anybody knowing seeing. Causing the gloves to get stuck in his intestine while absorbing his digested food. Filling up like little poop balloons in his stomach. This really is one of the weirdest stories I've ever heard. But my boyfriend's mom said he had been known for eating weird stuff. Like this one time he ate a t-shirt. TL. DR. Man experiences abdominal pains. Unable to crap and stops eating. After nearly two weeks of this he starts crapping blue latex gloves filled with poop and feels fine again. My grandmother has two stomachs. Like a cow. Her doctor asked if he could publish an essay about this, and she agreed. I have searched and searched and never found the actual article, but it's still pretty interesting. She is like 5 feet 2 and 100 pounds so no she isn't overweight or excessively hungry. She also found out she was pregnant with my mom after having a tumor removed from her stomach. We joke that they left the tumor and took my mom out, because she's kind of a human cancer lol. Ro, that was a roller coaster of a read. While working as a pathology tech, I began the post-mortem inspection process so the pathologist would have everything ready when I called him. The deceased had been admitted to have a bowel resection and later passed. When I opened him up, the entire body cavity and every organ was covered in small tumors. Everything. I called the pathologist and he said he wasn't ready yet and asked how I had completed all the necessary steps so quickly. I simply said, I'm barely past the Y incision and I'm not comfortable with going any further until you get here. Not a doctor, but my brother and I were the first for my mom's doctor. My brother and I are twins, but I was born a month premature. My brother was actually a few days overdue. My mom got pregnant with my brother and a month or so later she got pregnant with me. Her body released another egg despite her already being pregnant. Because of the way we were conceived my brother shoved me up under our mom's ribs. Her heartbeat concealed mine. So a month before my brother's due date the doctor finally realized that there were two of us. This was in 1985 ultrasounds weren't nearly as good as they are now. Forgot to mention that I'm female. Another sort of rare occurrence, and I was born breech. My mom told me that the doctor had to pull me out because I wasn't coming out on my own. To add to my mom's luck I was sucking my thumb into her quite a bit because the doctor didn't realize my elbow was sticking up. Luckily for her though my brother had already been born. My sil's mother was pregnant, had a miscarriage. Not sure of what happened if she passed the fetus herself. But for weeks afterwards she kept insisting there was another baby. Had to go for endless mental health assessments, since everyone thought she was just having a bad go of grief. Turns out, she was still carrying another baby, her eldest child, born healthy and happy some months later. First year of veterinary school, we're required to do a dissection on a dog, and can elect to do a cat as well. One of the groups in my class opened up the chest of this cat that had died of natural causes, only to see its heart completely swallowed up by the diaphragm. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, the diaphragm is a really thin muscle in your chest that is a main contributor to breathing. This cat was born with a hole in the diaphragm, hernia, and had proceeded to grow around the heart like a little tent, making the heart more pillar shaped than heart shape, and somehow managed to live almost to adulthood. So basically, the heart was half in the chest and also half in the abdomen just casually brushing against its liver. Asked this to an emergency doctor friend of mine a while ago. Patient comes in complaining of severe abdominal pain. Nurses take vitals, ask questions etc. Eventually my friend sees her and, after a few questions, he has her lift her shirt. The severe abdominal pain on the chart was in fact due to a gash so severe part of her intestines were sticking out of her. No one had noticed and she hadn't thought to mention that her organs had started leaking out. In fact, she seemed just as surprised as he was. She was probably in shock. I'm a funeral director. I haven't seen anything too anatomically weird. But I did have an innocent seeming old man with a tattoo on his shaft. Also, we had an obese woman and when we were embalming bathing her, a sugar packet fell out of a fat roll. Just one of those little pink ones. 
It seemed like it had been in there for a while. Yet a nurse here. Probably not too weird but we started a gastric sleeve on a huge woman. Stuck the camera in and she was riddled with cancer. Really weird she had no symptoms. She ended up losing all her weight without the sleeve. When you said theater nurse I thought you worked at a fancy movie theater in first aid. Google set my uneducated self straight. Siren Amelia, Mermaid Syndrome. Born about 5 months premature. She didn't make it, and she was brought down to the pathology lab for examination. For those afraid to google it, it's literally fusing of the legs into a mermaid tail like appendage. Not too worrisome. IQ nurse here. Had to prep a patient with erectile lady bits anastomosis. A connection between the vagina and rectum. Every time I would insert the enema into her rectum, all the crap water would come out of her glory hole. I honestly don't know if this is my weirdest but it's the first that comes to mind. It's sad but this isn't uncommon with pregnant women who try to self induce abortions with a coat hanger. They rupture the pouch of Douglas and poop kind of sits there and gets super infected. Not a doctor, but my mother was born with a rare condition that, in 1968, should have killed her. A twin that failed never got fully reabsorbed into her body before she was born which resulted in a massive cervical teratoma, as in, was crushing her heart and lungs as well as her throat. The only reason she wasn't stillborn was because her mother had a UT which caused a premature birth by about 60 days, on Christmas. Nonetheless, only one surgeon was willing to even attempt an operation and he just so happened to be passing through town for a medical conference. Due to the loss of almost her entire thyroid as well as oxygen deprivation issues she was supposed to be mentally challenged, but she turned out fine. Couldn't put on any weight for most of her childhood and persistent temperature regulations issues. She's always cold, but other than that she's fine. A physician and I think I've seen almost everything. Really, it's like anything anyone can think that is messed up they have come to see me in the air. Welded dong ring on for a week causing guy to lose his junk. Fingernail polish remover bottle in an 85 year old man's but that ended up causing him to get a colostomy. Multiple small celebs on and active in a lady that said she couldn't reach it. Even a terrible case where I found a big butt square 6 volt battery in a woman's fanny. She came in because she thought her pimp had put an oil can in her because black liquid was coming out. But turns out the moisture caused the battery to make connection and shard the inside of her to crisp. In cadaver anatomy, the woman we dissected was just filled with tumors. That wasn't the way she died. One of her ovaries was basically entirely taken over by tumors. It was really odd to see, and odd that they had apparently never known found out until after death. That was the big one. But there were so many weird small things that it makes you wonder what there is weird about your own body that you may never know. Work in theaters with lots of other nurses who have worked in her and one told me about a woman who came in with a buzz light ear inside her. She had been using it to pleasure herself and the wings had released and it got stuck. Not an anomaly but my favorite what's the weirdest thing anyone has come in with story. Work in orthopedics. Kid had a fracture we reduced an office and splinted. After a few weeks with proper healing he's transitioned into a cast. Usually we see them every week and ray x-ray it to ensure no displacement. First week post cast application as rays show two solid circular objects blocking the fracture. Turns out the 6 year old was hiding 50 cents he stole and hid from his brother. Not crazy I know. Just always found it funny how far siblings go to pee off the other. I thought you were going to say that you found that the break was getting worse. Because the kid was beating the crap out of other kids with his cast. In med school my anatomy group had trouble transecting the dong on genital dissection day. It turns out the cadaver had a dong implant. Two thick braided wires coated in plastic. We couldn't figure it out but the instructor came by and recognized it immediately. Liberating the shaft with a vigorous upward thrust and leaving the implant protruding from the pelvis. He also had some hernia mesh but that was less interesting. Comma liberating the shaft with a vigorous upward thrust. That sounds like fancy speak for ripped his dong off. Not a medical professional but I have one. Bit of background info for clarity. I was born with a potentially fatal kidney condition and had a few close calls in my childhood. By time I reached my teens my doctors were really concerned that I would end up needing a kidney transplant before I even reached adulthood. 
Now my dad is a universal donor so he volunteered to go ahead and give me one of his if it would even give me a chance. Doctors were game and he had to get examined and stuff only to find something really odd and kinda upsetting for both of us. Turns out that my dad was born with only one kidney. So that wasn't happening. Lucky for me I ended up not needing a transplant anyways but my dad was really upset about that for a while. A few years back I had a woman overdose by shoving 7 fentanyl patches inside of her vagina. I'm a medicological death investigator. This was an accidental overdose. People do weird, unfortunate things when they are hooked on sweet lady H. That actually sounds like a not bad way to go. Not in the biz. But my grander went for an ultrasound at 80. His first. Turned out his liver was twice as big, only had one kidney, and his gallbladder and some intestines were all twisted and backwards. But the doctors felt it should have caused problems earlier. They just removed his gull and some other stuff and he lived another 8 years. Not in the biz. Impeccable twist on the old classic not a doctor but. 5 stars. Maggots in a guy's super pubic catheter. They were borrowing around the tubing, and the urologist had to flush maggots from the guy's bladder. None of the above but a nurse. This made me think of two interesting ones. A woman unintentionally dye her skin blue from her homemade concoction to treat a skin issue. Another woman who, when laying down flat, had one perky breast and one lumpy lopsided one. It turned out she fell somehow and managed to pop her implant. Worked for the local medical examiners for a few years. Got a guy who died at home and wasn't found for a couple days. His cats had snacked in him a bit. Not super uncommon but still unnerving in concept. In his pockets, found a receipt for cat food. Must not have been fancy feast. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.